Hey folks, with a chapter in our new book dedicated to space weather and human health, and with space weather and cosmic ray health alerts coming across the Disaster Prediction app, there is a steadily increasing number of emails asking space weather and health related questions, and that's okay, provided you realize I am not a doctor. What these space weather health alerts are is the culmination of the existing research on how solar activity and galactic cosmic rays, together known as space weather, can affect various aspects of human health like the cardiac system and blood pressure, neurological system, epidermis, especially for those with periodically flaring skin conditions, psychological aspects like anxiety, stress, or more serious conditions, cognitive functions, and more. More than 30 peer-reviewed works from the last decade or so build on nearly 70 years of detailed study on these phenomena from Russian scientists. Language barriers and politics kept much of that research confined to one hemisphere. However, the scientist's work has now spread across the globe and has allowed the door to be opened higher than the ground floor when it hit running in this country. So, back to this medical advice thing. I can't give you medical advice, but I can give you some common sense. For example... If your doctor has prescribed you baby aspirin or Bayer or whatever low dose of that they want some heart patients to take, and let's say you don't listen to your doctor and have no plans on doing so on a regular basis. If you get a cosmic ray health advisory or a geomagnetic storm alert or solar flare alert through the disaster prediction app and you happen to be feeling a little off, maybe take one that day. Maybe on that day, I'd advise you do listen to your doctor, despite your personal freedom to do whatever the heck you want. However, if you want to continue doing whatever the heck you want, you may want to pay attention and make smart, well-informed decisions. If you can get that simple, logical advice example, which really isn't even considered medical advice, then you can understand how your decision-making might be slightly improved from time to time with the delivery of additional information about your environment based on decades of thorough and statistically significant peer-reviewed correlations between space weather and your body. I think most of you are smart enough to handle this on your own, but we all need a little reminder that our freedom to make our own decisions can come at a cost if not given care or respect. More information is always a good thing. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.